بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر ایجوکیرینس ہاؤ آر یو آل آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ ٹیکنگ گڈ کیئر آف یور سیلف فروم دا ایجوکیٹرس آن لائن اسپورٹ سسٹم آئی ایم یور سائنس ٹیچر اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو ڈلیور دا فائنل ٹرم لیسن نمبر تھری اینڈ ٹوڈے اوور ٹاپک از یونٹ نمبر ٹو سو ڈیو اسٹوڈینٹس نا اٹس ٹائم ٹو ریویو آف یونٹ نمبر ٹو So dear students, you all are know that we have completed our reading of unit number 2, Transport Systems in Animals and Plants. And in this unit, we have discussed the circulatory system. And in this system, we have learned the human heart, blood vessels, blood cells, heart diseases and heart surgery. Unit number 2 Transport Systems in Animals and Plants In this unit we have also discussed the transport system in plants and in this system we have learned about the internal structure of root internal structure of stem internal structure of leaf and importance of transpiration So the material required for this lesson are lead pencil highlighter ruler blue pen blue pointer along with your science book your science notebook and you will also need a winter pack that has been provided by the educators so now move on to the page number 26 and here the question number 1 from exercise choose the correct answer which part of the blood is mainly water yes students think about this what the answer is yes the answer is plasma arteries divide into small thin walled vessels called capillaries blood vessels that carry blood back to the heart are called veins the heart is made up of a special type of muscle called cardiac muscle normally the heart beat about dash time 70 times in a minute Xylem is the type of a vascular tissue through which water and minerals are transported. On which surface of the leaves are stomata present? Mostly lower. The transport of food from the leaves to all parts of a plant is called translocation. When is the rate of transpiration fastest? On a bright sunny day. Translocation is the movement of dash is the movement of food in the loin so dear students now open your winter pack page number 7 and now i will do the questions from question number 5 till onward questions so the question number 5 is what is the purpose of the walls between the atria and ventricles so the answer is the heart consists of four chambers two atria upper chambers and two ventricles lower chambers ye hamara heart four chambers par consist karta hai two upper chambers and two lower chambers there is a wall through which blood passes before leaving each chamber of the heart the walls prevent the backward flow of blood next the caption is higher order thinking questions and here the question number 6 says Study the table and answer the following questions. On your book, the table have given, and in this table, three columns are made. In the first column, the activities are given like sleeping, eating, and walking. And in the second column, pulse rate have given 60, 70, 90. And in the third column, breathing rate has given 8, 17, and 23. So according to this table the question number 1 is why is breathing rate different for each activity your blood picks up oxygen as it travels through your lungs and deliver it to the muscles you are using as your level of activity change your breathing rate also change according to this table the question number 2 is why is the pulse rate different for each activity If you are performing any kind of activity your heart will normally beats faster 
ये तो हम जानते हैं हम किसी भी तरह की अगर एक्टिविटी कर रहे होते हैं हम परफॉर्म कर रहे होते हैं तो उस टाइम पर हमारा हार्ट नॉर्मल स्पीड से ज्यादा फास्टली बीट करता है एंड दिस अलाउज योर हार्ट टू पम्प ब्लड थ्रू आउट योर बॉडी टू प्रोवाइड ऑक्सीजन टू द टिश्यूज द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज वट वुड बी दर्स रेट एंड ब्रीथिंग रेट बी आफ्टर विगोरियस एक्टिविटी so the answer is the pulse rate and breathing rate will be increased after vigorous activity so dear students now open your winter pack page number 8 and here the question number 7 is how do substances move from the blood to the body cells answer is blood moves very slowly through capillaries as the blood moves through capillaries nutrients oxygen and food leave the blood and enter the body cells capillaries are exchange vessels gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide nutrients and waste pass in both direction across capillary walls now the question number 8 is what is the importance of the transpiration for the plants ki plants ke liye transpiration kya importance rakhti hai answer is the transpiration is important because it carries water and minerals from the soil to the leaves it keeps the cell turgid firm so that they can spot the plants and the evaporation of water from the leaves keeps them cool in hot weather now the question number 9 is why the double circulation of the blood necessary in human body the human blood circulation is known as double circulation because blood passes through the heart twice for each complete circuit of the body it is necessary for a human being to separate oxygenated and deoxygenated blood because this makes their circulatory system more efficient and helps in maintaining constant body temperature now the question number 10 is how is the transportation in human different from the transportation in plants In humans the transportation occurs through veins arteries and capillaries ke human mein circulation ki jo transportation hai wo veins arteries aur capillaries ke through hoti hai and whereas in plants it occurs through the xylem vessels and phloem vessels aur plants mein two tubes hoti hain wo hoti hain xylem and phloem to plants mein transportation in dono tubes ke through hoti hai So dear students on a page number 8 there is an another caption which is i wonder from page number 18 20 and 22 so the question number 11 is where the blood cells are meet blood cells are formed in the bone marrow of bones now the question number 12 is why which is a good place to find out the heart beat one of the most common arteries for counting your pulse are the radial artery located on the inside of the wrist near the side of your thumb now the question number 13 is what tissue comprises the outer bark of woody plants the outer bark which is mostly dead tissue is the product of the cork cambium and the layered outer bark containing cork and all that phloems so dear students now it's time for your notebook work so get ready for your today's task so dear students now open your science notebook so firstly write today's task date and day on this page then write the topic and the topic is unit number 2 transport system in animals and plants after that write down the question number 5 what is the purpose of the walls between the atria and ventricles after that write down its answer Okay now write the caption higher order thinking questions and the question number 6 is study the table and answer the following questions so dear students you all will be draw the table like this after that write the question number 1 why is breathing rate different for each activity after that write its answer Okay now write the question number 2 why is the pulse rate different for each activity after that write its answer then write the question number 3 what should the pulse rate and breathing rate be after vigorous activity after that write its answer then write the question number 
how do substances move from the blood to the body cells after that write its answer okay now write the question number 8 what is the importance of transpiration for a plants after that write your points one by one like this after that write the question number 9 how is the transportation in human different from the transportation in plants after that write its answer so dear students now write the question number 10 why the double circulation of blood necessary in human beings after that write its answer then write the caption i wonder from page number 18 and here the question number 11 is where the blood cells are made after that write its answer okay now write the caption i wonder from page number 20 and here the question number 12 is why waste is a good place to find out the heart beat after that write its answer then write the again caption i wonder from page number 22 and the question number 13 is what tissue comprises the outer bark of woody plant after that write its answer so dear students you all will be write down these questions on your science notebook with neat handwriting so dear students now it's time for your today's task and in this task what you have to do so firstly learn and write question number 5 till 10 of unit number 2 on notebook then learn and solve from exercise question number 1 on book and do question number 11 till 13 from i wonder on a notebook so dear students i hope today's lesson was helpful for you and you all have understood all the points carefully so take care of yourself see you soon inshallah till then allah hafiz